So one of the things that I really struggled with when I first started blogging a couple of years back was just exactly what Google algorithm updates are. So in the video today, we're gonna to break down what they are, what they typically do, and how they can impact your websites. So let's jump into it. So what are Google algorithm updates? Well, simply put, a couple of times a year, Google needs to update the algorithm it uses to rank websites. Google then, at the moment, currently uses around about 200 different ranking factors to rank a website in its current position on Google search. These ranking factors include things like how many links you have pointing to your website, if the content on your website is informative, if you're an authority in your field, all of those different kinds of elements, as well as 197 of the different ranking factors. I'm surprised I managed to do math that quickly when it's this cold inside. Every couple of months then, Google will update its algorithm, changing the exact amount of credence it gives to the various ranking factors for your website. For example, let's say before a Google algorithm update, the previous algorithm would only give a 10% weighting to the number of links pointing to your website and that allowed your website to rank for number one. But after the algorithm update, they increased that to a 70% weighting for the number of links that are pointing to your website. It's natural then that your website might move down in the rankings there. So exactly how long do Google algorithm updates typically last? So most algorithm updates will typically range from anywhere between one and three weeks at most. While that might not sound too bad, the sad reality is Google is actually updating its algorithm more and more frequently. A couple of years ago, you might have one core algorithm update every 18 months, every year. But this year, I think we're already on our seventh or our eighth algorithm update, just showing how fast things can change when technology improves and all those kinds of things. So what happens after an algorithm update? So after an algorithm update, the biggest change to happen is you'll either gain traffic coming to your website or unfortunately lose traffic coming to your website. Website. For example, your website could be earning a decent number of page views, say 20,000 page views before the algorithm update. And then after the algorithm update, it might drop around 20% to, you know, 15,000 page views or even increase upwards to 25,000 page views. So if you're doing everything right, or at least you'll think you're doing everything right, why is Google gonna update its algorithm and potentially impact your website? Your website might be losing traffic because the new algorithm update isn't in line with what your website currently looks like. Alternatively, it could just purely be down to the fact that Google is taking more of the search. So that's a lot of information to take in. So what exactly do I mean by those two different points there? Well, for example, if your website has, you know, a ton of AI generated content, a ton of spam spammy links and all those kinds of things. And the Google algorithm update has been updated to kind of get rid of spammy links, maybe reduce the number of articles that have, you know, AI generated content, any of those kinds of things then obviously you're gonna be impacted by an algorithm update. Alternatively, Google could be taking more and more of the search. So what exactly do I mean by that? Well, to give you an example, let's say 10 years ago, if you were to search for the term, how to tie a tie, all the sites that would rank number one to 10 would all be websites, all be blogs showing you how exactly to tie a tie. However, today, if you were to search for that, Google would actually be taking some of the search by either displaying the information in the number one spot or replacing it with a YouTube carousel, a YouTube video or something like that. And just basically taking that traffic for itself to drive its own ad revenue. So why exactly does Google update its algorithm? I mean, it seems like a massive pain in the butt, right? Or simply put, human behavior changes and what you're searching for today won't necessarily be relevant in around about five years time, for example. As such, Google is going to want to update its search and update its algorithm to ensure that the search results are the best possible possible results for the initial user. On top of this, people also learn to game the system. So for example, back in the 90s, and I was like a, this big probably back in the 90s, but back in the 90s at least, one of the major problems that people would have is they would do a lot of keyword stuffing. They would do a lot of, you know, just throw as many links on a website as possible. And that would actually outrank a lot of other websites there. So it was quite easy to game the system, which is why Algorithms need to be updated to prevent any of these new black hat techniques to get people to rank on Google search. So what do you do if you've been hit by a recent Google algorithm update? Well, first of all, don't do what I did and make sure you calm down and don't panic. If your content is good quality, it's answering the searcher's intent and you're really making an effort with your post to be original, unique, all of those kinds of things and doesn't go against any of the new algorithm updates there, there's a good chance your website will probably bounce back in the rankings when the next algorithm update comes through. Secondly, I definitely recommend publishing more content on your website. Nowadays, websites need more and more content in order to generate significant amount of traffic. And even the best websites in the world lose traffic after Google algorithm updates every couple of years or so. So it's nothing too much to worry about. Finally, if you have been hit quite bad and you're not really sure why, make sure you dive through and look back at some of your posts that are around about a year to a year and a half old. You can then see where they're ranking and if they've actually lost rankings over time and go back and update them. That might be a quick way to gain back some of the traffic you might have lost through your competitors who have maybe overtaken you once the algorithm update 
it have taken place? Blogging family. Right, I sprained my ankle, so I'm not gonna stand up for the end of this video, but bit of a longer video than usual, but for good reason. I think a lot of us are probably struggling a little bit with algorithm updates, so it's always nice to kind of share my thoughts on it, see what you guys think. As always, leave a comment down below. Let me know your best ways to kind of deal with algorithm updates and basically what they're all about. As always though, if you are interested in more videos around, you know, blogging, side hustles, personal development, all of those kinds of things, absolutely smash the like and subscribe button. Please do enjoy the holiday season. Do take time for yourselves if that's something that you want to do. And until the next one, I'll leave you to it. All the best, gang. Have a good one. Bye.